So what is the best keyboard for professional musicians? Well, in this video, I'm gonna compare two of the heavyweights, the Core Kronos and the Yamaha Montage. So let's get ready to rumble. Hey, and welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So these two keyboards are the flagships of their respective companies and they're two of the most sought after keyboards in the industry. And I've been using both of these keyboards for over five years and I actually have two Kronos keyboards, one that I keep in my studio and one that I use for gigging. So I've had a lot of time to get to know these boards. But let's compare them and talk about which one you should buy if you're in the market to buy a keyboard. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you which one I would buy if I could only choose just one and which one I think is the best for professional musicians. So be sure to stick around to the end for that. Now, both of these keyboards come in three sizes or models, the Kronos having an 88 key version, a 73 key version, and a 61 key version, and the Montage having an 88 key version, a 76 key version, and a 61 key version. And the price of these two keyboards are hovering around the same or similar price, depending on which version you get, you may pay a couple of hundred dollars difference for you know the particular version you want. And they aren't currently at the lowest price I've seen them at, but they're definitely lower than what they were five or six years ago and definitely lower than what they were when I bought them. So now's a great time to get them because prices are expected to rise on everything this year. And I have links to each one in the description of this video, so be sure to check those out. Now let's start by talking about about the looks of these keyboards. You can get the Montage in both a blue color and a white color, and I believe there's a black color of it available as well, but it's kind of rare. And the Kronos comes in a black color, a platinum color, and a sort of red wineish color that looks really great. Overall, both of these keyboards are really nice, no matter which color you get. They look really great on stage. They have a nice, clean look. But I think the newer Kronos in the red or wine color with the wooden sides on it is just a little bit more modern and sleek looking and has a little extra flair when you're playing it on stage. Now, looking at some of the advantages of the Kronos, you have a really large touch screen, which makes it really easy to get to the parameters that you wanna to get to very easily. Computer and laptop connectivity is a breeze and it has a built-in audio interface. So you could plug a microphone into it or another instrument and record directly to your computer. The sound layering capabilities are really smooth and it's really easy to dial in and blend sounds with the knobs and faders. And also the Kronos has a sequencer on it if you like to compose music directly on your keyboard. Now also the sounds in the Kronos are great, especially like the piano in Rhodes and electric piano sounds. And this is definitely an update for Korg as in the past they weren't really known for their piano sounds. But also the brass synth and string patches and the bass patches are very usable for live gigs and for recording. The feel of the keys on the weighted key version and the semi-weighted key version feel really nice and smooth, which makes it really great for when you have to play long gigs. It helps your fingers not get, you know, really fatigued by the end of the night. And one of my favorite features on the Kronos is the set list function, which allows you to store sounds in a set list and be able to pull them up really quickly just at the top of a button. Now, some of the things that I don't like about the Kronos are one is the sensitivity of the touchscreen or the responsiveness of the touchscreen. It's not as responsive as it could be. It seems to take slightly more pressure than normal to select functions on the touchscreen. And that makes the next thing that I don't like about the Kronos even worse, which are the smaller icons on the screen. So if you have larger fingers, it makes it really difficult to kind of get up in those corners and touch those parameters or select them when you need to. And also the menu and global functions on the Kronos aren't super intuitive. So it could take you a while to learn how to get under the hood of that keyboard and do the things that you wanna do. Now, by far the worst thing about this keyboard is the startup time. The Kronos takes a full minute and 45 seconds to power on. And that's crazy. If you're on a gig and you have a power outage and you know you have to power up really quickly and get right back to gigging, you gotta sit there and wait a minute and 45 seconds for your keyboard to come on. So that's the core Kronos in a nutshell. Now, right before we get to the montage, if you're getting value out of this video so far, do me a quick favor and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and do that now. 
that lets me know you appreciate this content and it lets me know what type of content I should make for you in the future. Now, looking at some of the advantages of the Yamaha montage, you have a touch screen on the montage as well, and it's about the same size as the screen on the Kronos, but it's much more responsive. And the text and menu on the montage screen is much larger than it is on the Kronos, so that helps you to see it a whole lot better and helps you, you know, just dial in a sound whenever you need to. Now, the signature function of the montage is the super knob. Now this knob really is super cool and you can set pretty much any parameter to it that you want from blending sounds to volume control, effects control, and much more. And it's a great tool for sound design if you're into that, but it's really good for, you know, blending and layering sounds on the fly because you can just dial in the amount of each sound that you want with that knob. Now also the montage has what's called the live set function, which is similar to what the set list function is on the Kronos. But overall, I think the live set function on the montage is a lot better because it's just so much easier to set and store sounds in it and pull them up really quickly. And you know, something else that's weird that I personally like about the montage is the empty space on the upper left column of the keyboard. And I know that may sound a little crazy, but that empty space is very functional. Like when you're on a gig, you can set your iPad there for your lyrics or your paper lyrics or your set list or your phone or whatever you wanna set there. And that makes that montage just a whole lot better of a keyboard for me. Now, some things that I don't like about the montage, ironically, one of the things that I don't like about the montage is one of the advantages that I named, which is the super knob. Now, the functions of the super knob are great, but that thing breaks really easy because it protrudes up a little bit, you know, slightly above normal, in my opinion, from the keyboard, which makes it easy for something to just scrape past it when you're carrying it around or when you're sitting something on top of it. I've had to have mine replaced once and I have a friend that has a montage that had his replaced as well. And it's something that I hear about online in forums all the time where people are dealing with that super knob breaking. So it's definitely a common problem with this keyboard. And another thing is the build quality overall of the keyboard is okay, but it's not great. I feel like if I'm carrying the montage around and it just so happens to take a fall, that it's just gonna shatter into pieces. As compared to the Kronos, where that thing tends to feel like a tank. And that is the montage in a nutshell. Now, the keyboard out of these two that I personally think is the best for professional musicians and the one that I would buy if I could only just have one, well, for me, I would have to say that that keyboard would be the Yamaha Montage. It just slightly edges out the Kronos for me for having a slightly better, more intuitive menu, a better variety of sounds, and most of all, not having a minute and 45 seconds startup time. But to be honest, both of these keyboards are killer. They are exceptionally well-rounded keyboards. So as a professional musician, you can't go wrong with either. And speaking of professional musicians, if you're a musician looking to make more money, get more gigs, make a living from what you do, check out the links in the description of this video. There's a lot of free content that will help you grow as a musician. And we also offer courses here at Music Space. So be sure to check those links out as well. In the meantime, here are some other videos that you can check out right now.